Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy Sakal, the new winter map that's come with the Frostline 1.26 expansion. And this video, I'm going to show you my boosted loot files for PlayStation, PC and Xbox community servers. But before we go into the nitty gritty, um, what we'll do is I thought we would have a little bit of a um, showcase of what you can expect to get. So let's just put my character down here. So. I haven't gone mad with these files, um, so the things you kind of have is uh, items will tend to spawn in pristine, which is nice, so they'll last longer. Um, what you'll also find is the server is slightly warmer, not very, but it's slightly warmer. You're still going to have to fight against the cold. Um, there's slightly more food, there's slightly more drink, but it'll probably be frozen when it spawns in, so you've got to watch out for that. Um, there's more guns. Uh, there's more ammo. Guns spawn in with stuff um, already on them. And magazines spawn in with bullets already on them. Um, and some guns will have scopes on, some will have suppressors, that kind of thing. Um, and as you see, everything's sort of spawning in pristine here. But also, really important, I think this is one of the coolest things, is things like the um, vehicles will spawn in complete with stuff in them as well. So that means that if you find a vehicle, it'll have stuff in the boot. They all have different stuff in. Um, and the boot is the, is the back. Uh, that's the way that we could call it in the UK. Um, and all you need to do is, is take the jerry can, fuel the vehicle. And then this might actually be the tricky bit that I didn't really think about that much, was the fact that you've then got to find some water. Um, and I don't know whether you can fill a jerry can with snow. But anyway, I'll leave that up for you. So let's just have a quick look around. So if we, um, let's just turn on our admin tools. Ooh, to turn them off. Um, and let's go and find a vehicle. So let's find a hatchback. Off-road hatchback. There we go. So let's find some of these. Um, right, okay. So they've spawned over here. Again, I haven't gone mad with the vehicles. There, there's a few around. So if we go over here, what we should find is, haha, here's an off-road hatchback. As you can see, all the bits are on it. Very nice. And then if we open up the boot, and have a look in the boot we can see this one happens to have an m4 there's a big backpack there's the uh, gasoline uh, we've got suppressor we've got spare mags that sort of stuff okay let's have a look for something else so uh, how about the off-road hatchback blue let's find out one there's three of those they're over here so let's uh, let's get a bit closer so we don't have to run too far there it is as you can see it's got all the bits on and if we look in the back of one of these, we'll find this one's got an M4 in the back as well. <laughs> okay, let's uh, look for something else. So let's go for, if I press the right button, let's have a look in the back of a um, sedan. Here we go. A civilian sedan. Uh, wine how about that one get item stats there's five of these so let's go down let's have a look oh must be out oh there's a see there oh there's a good example there's a revolver um as you can see it's got six bullets in already which is nice so the idea is that if you find things then you know they're ready to go um, so if you're a, like a new player or you haven't got that much time you don't have to mess around trying to find all this stuff when you find a gun you can use it and you to shoot zombies with so there we go so let's have a look in the boot of this one and we can see in this one we've got a fishing rod we've got the oh the easter egg that doesn't really do much though the easter egg unfortunately so that's pretty good okay so now let's have a look at the truck because the trucks are particularly cool so where's the truck truck 01 covered 15 of these is loads of them and I put lots of these on because they're full of building supplies there we go there's a truck if we look in the back of this there's a generator barrels um, wooden crates and here we go so we've got spades we've got nails loads of cool stuff in fact speaking of nails if we do a search for nail box should see is it that one yeah i mean there's loads and loads of nails like that another good thing to be look at say if you look at say uh pipsy so they can pipsy 
you can see loads of loads more drink, food and drink all scattered around like that. I've left the animals alone this time. So if you look at things like I don't know, fox. Uh, oh, it's animal, isn't it? If we look for animal, what have we got? I can't, uh, Ursus Arctus. That's Vulpus Vulpus. I think that's the fox. I don't know, but the animals the animals are just normal. Uh, Suscrofer, is that it? Right. They're, I think they're sheep, those ones. So they're normal. Um, but if we look for something like uh, M4A1, so let's have a look. Uh, M4A1, here we go. Three of these, and they're down here. So let's come down here. I think this will be in a container, yeah. All the high end weapons tend to be in the southeast, and as you can see here, we've got a. Nice M4 complete with the suppressor and a mag ready to go. Very cool indeed. Um, I guess you could do something like uh, what we got here. We could look for plate carrier vest winter. Uh, no, we don't want one of those plate carrier vests. Nope. Uh, camo. Nope. Uh, plate carrier holster. Which one did I do? That one? Yeah, there we go. Oh, I've spawned inside. This isn't very good, is it? Let's have a look. So where's that plate carrier vest? Let's turn on... ESP. What's oh, there? Oh, it's kind of it's it's on the boat, isn't it? Wow, how cool is that? That is very good, very interesting indeed. That's a off one of the one of the little islands. Very very good, very very nice. So. It's going to make it easier for your um, survivors to survive and they're going to have a bit more of a fun time because they'll be able to get lots of ammunition and guns and all that sort of stuff. Now when you go through the readme it kind of details all the extra stuff. There's also some extra things that are in the file that you can play around with if you want. There's like a, a trader truck that you could, if you wanted to add their coordinates for it to spawn in, you could add that. I might well do that at some point. Um, and there's a party truck as well but there's no coordinates on the map for that yet so that's why the events for those are turned off okay so how do you use these files well what you'll want to do is you want to go to my github repository of which the link will be in the description below this video if that's not working there's also my mega as well and you'll find the link there um, then all you do is you click on code you download the zip download it to your local pc go to an appropriate uh, folder and you'll just want to extract it and you'll end up with just these files so nice and simple there's only one two three four five one two three four five six files that you use and the readme is the instructions then all you need to do is just go to your sacal server now i'm assuming that you've set it up and it's installed with the vanilla files okay so you've actually got a sacal going if um you're doing this as part of an update maybe in the future and you're watching this to see how you do an update the first step to update say we went from 1.26 to 1.27 the first step is always to reset your um, mission xml to default because that then gives you all of the new files and my ones are then going to go over the top of the existing ones just remember that if you do reset your mission xml to default so by ticking that saving restarting unticking it and saving it again all the files go to vanilla so anything that you've edited is 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 lost um, if as well you're swapping from a Chernerus server or a Livonia server over to uh, a Sakal server and you've noticed that there's no missions folder and um, that may well be sorted by now but if, if it isn't if, if there's no daisy offline dot Sakal what you want to do is um, change the mission at the top to Sakal and then down here, reset mission XML to full, save, restart. That will then generate the Sakal mission file. Then you untick and then you save it. So what I'm going to do now is I just go to the file browser. 
like so. I'm just going to go into Daisy XB missions on PlayStation. PlayStation it with PS missions, PC it just with missions. Uh, Daisy offline dot Sakal, and it's as simple as just going to um, upload file, and then making sure we're in the right one. And then in this folder we put in the CFG gameplay JSON and CFG spawnable types, and we just click OK. And that will then upload those and then we just go into the db directory and we click on upload file and we now click on uh, events globals messages and types and i click open that uploads those now we, what you would then do is then restart the server um, the server would restart and the changes would start to take effect now if the server has been running for a period of time what will happen is that the items that have already spawned in, um, say damaged items, they're going to hang around for a while um, because they need time to despawn. Um, so you know, you've just got, got to hang around. In the globals.xml, I have put in a setting um, in order to uh, extend the um, time at which your server will stay awake after the last person leaves. Um, so that should help with that but don't worry about it you know damaged stuff is going to stay around for a while and then the new stuff should start spawning the same goes for vehicles as well so any vehicles that have already spawned in um, that have spawned in you know without their stuff on they will slowly be replaced by the new vehicles that should have other stuff in the only way really the only way really to get around this is you could do a vehicle reset as well or it, this sort of thing works best if you want it to work straight away with a fresh install you know where the server hasn't been run yet and then you use my boosted loot files to uh, to get everything started now finally one thing i would say is remember that when i make these files i am but human then there could well be the odd mistake or things i've missed out if there are let me know in the, the uh, comment section down below and i'll do my best to update them highly recommend they use a json um, formatter and validator because um, the one json file and an xml validator to check the files before you upload them i have checked them and they seem to be okay but of course feel free to go in upload the files into your favorite text editor always recommend uh, notepad plus um, plus and you can edit them to your heart's content so there we go hopefully this is useful hopefully this gives you a bit more of a friendly Sakal experience especially for new players and players who don't have much time and um, yeah if you found it useful hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and of course i will see you again soon